Hello guys, today I want to tell you how do we preserve drinking water for one year. So today is the uh, uh, 15th of November, it's the middle of November and it's negative 24 degrees Celsius. And um, so in the beginning of November, uh, we start to collect ice from the lakes or rivers and we collect it to drink during one year we do it in the beginning of November because it's not that cold outside it's not negative 40 or 50 it's usually only minus uh, I don't know negative 15 or 20 uh, degrees and also um, the ice is thick enough uh, for storing so today I want to show you how do we preserve drinking water for one year so uh, Yakutia is known for big amount of lakes some people say that there are more lakes than people in Yakutia I don't know if it's true so I am on the lake it's totally fine to walk here it's uh, thick enough so first of all people make mm, squares like this actually I skipped the, the time when people took ice <laughs> so I will tell you how they do it but I I'm not able to show you, sorry. <laughs> My parents, they did it last week. Today I will show you just how they did it. So they take squares like this and they remove the snow from the top. So you can see that it's, it's, it's dark. <laughs> that means it's not that thick here because they removed it not so long time ago and here you see that ice is like really really deep under. so this is ice they do squares and then they start to um, how to say they start to tap it for quite a long time and then they cut the ice into into small pieces they cut ice into small pieces and they look like this so let's go and see it <clears throat> I don't know maybe five men work together to do it so the technology is quite interesting Maybe one day I will film how they do it. Today I will just show how it looks like. So they um, they cut the ice and take it out from the uh, water, and it looks like this. So the in the beginning of November. The ice is thick like this. Okay. Yeah, so people they just take it out and some people they leave it just like this and during the winter they come with their cars and take it to their homes. Let's look how it looks like at my home. After collecting ice from the lake, uh, people put it, put the ice, collected ice, close to their houses. So we put it like this. You can put it in one big pile or sort it. Yeah. So during winter, it's like totally fine to leave ice outside because, well, it's cold. But when um, when 
spring comes, when summer comes, you cannot leave ice outside anymore. So we, this is blues, and this is ice for for summer, for spring. Blues is a place. It's like uh, I don't know, little place which is digged in the ground because Yakutia is permafrost we have got permafrost ground soil uh, that means that uh, our land is like ice and during summer it's cold inside of this place so when summer comes we put all this ice inside of this uh, place and it doesn't melt during summer and when we need drinking water during summer we just take out ice from this blues and we take it and put it we take it home at home we put uh, the ice into uh, big barrels and leave it to melt so you see that this ice almost melted there were we like just put a lot of ice inside of one barrel and then it melts and it all melts and then it becomes just <laughs> liquid normal water which we use for drinking we do it like this because we don't have water coming from water pipes and in our village you should um, supply yourself by what with water by yourself so drinking water we do like this uh, washing what water that we use for washing is like different story which I will tell you later maybe <laughs> it's only about drinking <coughs> and it's easier well we could buy water inside of the bottles but it's cheaper to do this way and this water is really good and tasty and if we want to drink uh, tea and I don't know just for cooking we just take water from this and it's really good water mineral nice tasty water thank you for watching and if you have any questions about this please ask